Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about some really nice Diptyque perfumes because I love Diptyque. And I am at home for God knows how long and I have nothing else to do. So I said, why not get back on YouTube during this time? So we're going to pick some perfumes out of this bag. It's just a really pretty bag, you know, got that detail in there. It's super cute. I'm going to pull them out, talk to you guys about them. Fragrance is a really big part of my life, as you can see. And these are all reserved for the top shelf with my empty Diptyque diffuser. Yes, I do love Diptyque. So, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first one. Omoheli! Woohoo! Omoheli is a floral perfume, ginger vetiver and ylang ylang. And this is part, I'm pretty sure this is part of the floral collection because there's also Otahaku, um, which is part of the citrus collection. Now this one is a really, really beautiful floral. You've got some more citrus notes in here. So when I really think of this perfume, I picture myself wearing it with, uh, you know, like a chartreuse color, pairing it with green kind of colors that I would associate with the perfume. When I think about perfumes, I often associate it with what outfits am I going to wear this with? What is the vibe of the color scheme? Um, it really makes a huge difference to me in an outfit when you put a perfume on because that can really finish the outfit, right? So Omo Heli, I'm a huge fan of. I really, really love this perfume. I will definitely be wearing this quite a bit in the summer. Oh! We have Eau de Well, Eau de Parfum. Now, Diptyque has two versions of this one. They have an Eau de Toilette and an Eau de Parfum. I prefer the Eau de Parfum just because I find it has um, kind of a sexier feel to it. And the thing that's unique about this one is that Diptyque are all shared fragrances. So these can be worn by anybody. They really don't kind of put a perfume out with the gender in mind of who's going to wear it. It's more like, are these notes gonna deliver the idea that they've thought of. Do you know what I mean? So Eau Duel is really, really beautiful vanilla perfume. Now, vanilla, you'd think, oh God, sweet. It's gonna be really, really sweet and it's not gonna be that good because personally, I know a lot of people that have worn vanilla perfumes, but there's a certain way they have to be executed. And I find that putting a smoky feel to this one was a really smart decision. Um, it just, it's so sexy. And it it's, I've, I've smelled this on men, I've smelled this on women, and it just smells so delicious. There's no other way to describe it. Oh, well, if you ever get your hands on this one, you'll probably fall in love with it. Next perfume is Lo by Diptyque. This was their first perfume ever. This was launched in 1968. This is a 15th century potpourri inspired recipe. So you got cinnamon, rose, and clove in here. I love potpourri. I love potpourri. I love going into a bathroom and smelling potpourri. I think it's just beautiful. So getting my hands on this, Diptyque did send it to me and I'm really thankful for that. There's just something about it that I adore. And I save this for very special occasions because I want to create really good memories with it. That's something that I think is really good to practice with your fragrances is kind of put them towards certain things. That way, if you have a big fragrance collection, you can make sure that you get equal use out of all of them and don't wear one constantly, constantly, constantly. If you're investing in fragrance, make sure that you're going to be able to wear it, even if it does have longevity. Make sure that it's something that you will pull for if you're doing a certain outfit or you're going to a certain event or, you know, the seasons, this is what you like to smell like. That's what you should really be reserving your perfume for. Now, the next perfume we have is Dosan. This is the Eau de Parfum. There is also Eau de Toilette. Both have the same ingredients, just different concentrations. Um, Dosan is a really beautiful deep floral. So you have tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom, and amberwood in here. Amberwood is like the thing that makes this perfume so nice because when it dries down it has that nice how do I describe it? I don't know it's just got a, it's beautiful it dries on the skin so sexy for the right people. Remember perfume doesn't dry the same on everyone. I can't wear the eau de toilette it smells like bananas on me. I don't know why it smells like bananas on me but it actually smells like bananas. I'm not lying. And the final one that we have is Velocicos. 
I guess we saved the best for last. This is a hugely popular one for Diptyque because of the fact that the fig in here is so well done. There are a couple fig ones on the market right now. There's some from Armani. I know Jo Malone has. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a fig in their collection somewhere. It's, it's not an ingredient that's super uncommon, but the way this was executed was so beautifully done. So there's fig tree leaves, fig tree sap, fig tree wood, and, uh, and black pepper in here. So to me, when I smell it, I don't smell as much as a black pepper. It's more milky to me. Like that's really how I would describe it. It's like a nice milky fig perfume. Even though fig isn't really like milky, but it just, it has that that essence to it. Now we're gonna go over pricing. So for the 100 ml of an eau de toilette, you are looking at $190 for a 100 ml, $135 for a 50 ml. 75 ml is the only size that the eau de parfum comes in and this ranges for $245 Canadian. If you guys like this video, let me know. If you want to see more content, we can get into skincare. We can get into candles. We can get back into makeup. I think that it's time I tried to make a commitment to this whole YouTube thing. So thank you so much for watching and yeah, bye.